Hey hi guys welcome back to my YouTube channel in today's video we are going to see how we can combine two powerful technologies the NRF24 wireless transceiver and the M5Stick C+2 we'll be discussing about the concept of bluetooth jamming and also explore how to control devices using the IR remote within the M5Stick C+2 so guys let's get started the NRF24 module which I am using for my demonstration is already available in Amazon in reasonable price. You can get it from here and also I will be using some connecting wires which is mostly male to female and female to female connecting wires which again you can find it in Amazon. Once you have all these things ready we can proceed with our demonstration. To connect the NRF module with the M5Stick device, I have created a circuit diagram which you can refer to connect the pins. This device here is my NRF module where we will be connecting the jumper wires against the M5Stick C plus 2 device. Here you can see there are 8 pins. Note the numbering because you will be needing it to connect. For my circuit connection, I will be using 5 jumper wires which will be from male to female as you can see I have 5 wires with different colors along with we need 2 wires from female to female once we have everything in place I will start connecting the jumper wires from my NRF module to the M5 stick module so I will take my first wire and I will connect to pin 1 the white color wire so yes it's done since it's a male to female wire we have connected the female wire now i'll take the male end and i'll connect it to the gnd the ground similarly i'll be connecting all the wires i'll take the second wire and connect it to pin 2 which is on the opposite of pin 1 yeah and then that will be connected to 3v3 port okay now it's done now the third pin which i'll be using i'll be connecting it to the third pin besides the white wire and that will be going to g36 g25 okay now i'll take the fourth wire i'll connect to the fourth pin it's here okay and that will be going to g26 okay it's done now i'll take the fifth wire the orange wire and i'll be plugging into the fifth pin here it is okay and that will go in the G0 port perfect yeah it's done we need more two wires to attach the female to female wire so as I told you this is a 7 wire setup I will be taking one female wire and I will be attaching to the 6th pin ok and the other part I will be attaching it to G32 on the front side here you can see G32 is the second pin and the other wire other female wire I will be attaching to the 7th pin the final pin and the last pin we can leave it as it is and the other end of the seventh female port will be attaching to the g33 and it's done so now that our setup is ready what we are going to do is i'll just attach my antenna okay now our nrf setup is completed so i'll just click my nrf module and as you can see our jammer is active if you face any difficulties while connecting the wires you can come back and check the circuit diagram which i have included in the video 
Now for a final test, as you can hear, there is a random music playing in the background from my Bluetooth speaker, and I've connected to my mobile phone. I'll go to my M5 stick module, and I'll just select the Jammer module. Okay, so once I click on the Jammer option, you can see there is no sound. Unless and until we stop the Bluetooth jamming, we won't be able to hear any sound. As soon as we stop the jamming, you can see the music is back to normal. We'll go again and we'll test the same. This time, I'll rotate the antenna. Okay, as you can see, there is the distorted sound or noise which has been produced. The reason for noise distortion is because NRF module is continuously transmitting random packets on a specific channel within the 2.4 GHz frequency range, where it will try to hit all the nearby Bluetooth devices. Now let us test the IR blaster feature in the M5 stick. The IR emits modulated infrared light from the IR LED, which is detected by the IR receiver in the target device, due to which it is used to send the codes which is required. By default, the M5 stick comes with predefined IR codes. And as you can see, once the code hits, it performs the function. And my TV is switched off. I'll perform the same action again. And once the relevant code hits the IR receiver, the action will be performed. And as you can see, my TV is switched on. To conclude, note that Bluetooth jamming is illegal in many regions and can interfere with essential systems. Make sure you are in a controlled environment and have necessary permits while experimenting. That's all from my side. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe to my channel for further updates.